My beloved love, often, even when someone wants to connect with us, they will not be able to give to us in an equal way, and not because there's any ill intent on the part of that person, simply because, energetically speaking, we are on very different frequency levels. So when someone's on a very different frequency level from you, it automatically creates an imbalanced connection at times in the physical world. And it happens in a very unconscious way. I feel that many Divine Feminines listening here have absolutely experienced this in one way or another, with adjacent possibilities reversed. You are really beginning to solidify yourself on a particular path from a very high-level standpoint. Regardless of how this specifically applies to you, this is a path of remaining connected to your intuition, trusting that in-the-moment guidance, keeping an open third eye chakra. This is solidifying you on a path that is very high vibrational, that is very much in alignment with many grand manifestations that are starting to make their way into your life. And of course, we can't channel into the Divine Feminine's energy without sharing that the masculine we've been channeling at the beginning of this reading, or perhaps for some of you this is someone different, these are just energies, so they can connect with multiple physical people, with one specific person, or even to your internal Divine Masculine Essence, because we all do have a balance of both energies. But once again, we have that card, the Envy card, representing a lack of fulfillment or feeling unfulfilled, feeling left out in some way. But then, Healer of the Ages, it's like that feeling of void is actually meant to push the masculine here within themselves into illuminating and integrating those shadow aspects that may have prevented connection consistently between the two of you in the past. The interesting thing about the way that this reading is turned is I meant to read into the thoughts and feelings specifically of the masculine, but my guides immediately led me to a deep dive of your energy, Divine Feminine. And I feel the reason for this is because they felt it was beneficial to first ground you into what is happening in your own energetic field, to then put whatever the masculine here is thinking or feeling to put that more into a clear perspective. So with that being said, in the extended version of the reading on Patreon, I will be channeling into specifics on how the masculine coming through here is really thinking and feeling specifically towards you, Divine Feminine. But of course, I'm sure messages will come through regarding how they're feeling about their life and themselves generally. I will also be channeling any further messages from your spirit guides or higher self, whatever divine forces you personally connect with. I also feel that something about your current circumstances is training you more into this very powerful frequency of unconditional love that is truly becoming so familiar to you and that it's really becoming your nature from Divine Muscular. Type yes if you believe.